Hi guys, come on in. Sign in digital without the late night in Broad Street. So today all I need is a cup of tea instead of half a dozen paracetamol and Barocca. So let's talk all things architectural. What is architectural? It's a huge range of surface finishes. With thousands of patterns to choose from, there's something for every taste and application. Used to transform one item or transform many. So, while we've got you here, we're going to show you a few different applications here at William Smith's that are all using the same pattern. Always remember to thoroughly clean the surface first and prime the edges, not forgetting any areas where film overlaps film. Using the architectural finishes you can wrap it instead of ripping it out. Using these solutions, it means less downtime for your customers and less disruption to their business. It really is that simple. A durable new look for a fraction of the cost of replacing. This is a growing market. Demand for refurb and sustainable solutions is on the increase. These films provide fantastic opportunities for installers who can wrap interiors. Let's look at a typical application. We've got an MDF countertop here, we've got a column at the, ba at the base here, so this could be a wine bar, table, coffee table, hundreds of different applications. First of all, we're going to concentrate, I'll wrap the base, the column, and then we'll go on to wrapping the top. So, the same principle applies, this is the base of a coffee table, bar table, but this column could easily be holding a building up. Just like this one. So here we have a plain MDF tabletop and it is fully cleaned, fully primed with the appropriate primer. Got my product, cut to size, and this one I've added approximately 150 mil all the way around. Position that centering. Strokes. 
taking care to cover every single part. And then to the heat gun. So here I am just wanting to soften the material, relax it down to take on the shape of that curved edge. And you can see it really does take quite a lot of heat to be able to bring it down, roll down and underneath. darker colours especially do take heat quite quickly. So it really is just a case of patiently warming, relaxing, smoothing down and around. Any of you guys who they're currently doing vehicle wrapping. You will approach it to start off with, with that, to start off with, thinking, well, how hard can it be? If you can vehicle wrap, you can definitely do this. But these products, depending on the pattern, are generally between two and three hundred microns thick. Therefore, the main thing you have to get used to is the fact that it's a much thicker product. Once you've got used to that, you really will just fly with it. And of course, rather than being in a garage, you will be in a nice warm hotel or office block because ultimately, a wine bar, because ultimately, there's very, very few environments where these products can't be used. Products really are so strong and durable. Absolutely perfect for countertops, walls, high, high traffic areas. And for those of you who are vehicle wrappers and from the signage trade, you do know already all about the bubble free adhesives, which these products have got for that added ease of installation. Should it go wrong, you know, and you want to iron it out, again, very, very similar to the majority of the vinyls in the industry, you can apply a little bit of heat, rescue it, and then it allows you to go forward with your installation. Products are fully fire tested as well, which obviously is a very important aspect. Which, should you be installing these in large public areas, you'll find that the facilities managers are going to want to know that, and we do have all of those certificates available for you. And as I touched on, it does go externally some of the range so if you need that extra uv resistance then you can get a 10-year life product as well for outside alternatively standard ranges you're looking at 12-year durability so now got that bit done we'll go underneath and start finishing those edges off so because we've actually warmed and stretched this down and around, it's not advisable to trim this flush with this edge. We need now to take it around, smooth it all out, a good 10 mil, and then trim it and finish it. But of course, it's not always that easy to do it from the underneath. So if you can take it and turn it over, all the better. Just don't be tempted at this point to put too much heat into this keep it neat and tidy.
As you can see, this is an easy application and as long as you practice, it is a relatively straightforward process. If you are interested in becoming part of our installer network, get in touch with one of our guys and they will give you all the details about our training courses. This could lead to endless application opportunities across many different sectors, including hospitality, retail, office, washroom and healthcare. So hopefully that's given you all a little bit of food for thought because as you can see here, this is exactly the same pattern that you saw on the door, the pillar and the tabletop that I wrapped. This worktop's been wrapped, oh, must be in excess of four years. And this is the production site here at William Smith's. Therefore, there are literally hundreds of cups of tea getting made here every day.